How's it going? It's Joe Value here for Cold Beer Sports. I have my selections now for Thursday, the 15th of July. So, um, no joy yet. Uh, Wednesday, no joy as of yet. We had a place at 16 to 1, wasn't too bad. And I suppose if Chimeric uh, places or even wins, uh, it'd be a nice day. Um, he's yet to run. I'm just doing these early Wednesday evening just to get them on. Uh, so uh, the first one is the 2.30 in Hamilton and the name of the horse is uh, Macion. He's trained by Mark Johnson. I think he's very interesting. He was uh, a good horse a couple of years ago. Uh, very good horse and he ran into the Royal Ascot and all that kind of crack. Uh, he lost his way but he's dropping down the weights like a stone. And I just thought it was interesting that Mark Johnson still trains him. Because usually now if he doesn't see any light at the end of the, t the tunnel, he'll just uh, offload him to somewhere else. But the fact that he's holding on to this lad uh, speaks, I wouldn't say volumes, but you know, it gives a bit of a clue as to he still thinks the horse has ability. So uh, at 15 to 2, I think uh, Macion is worth chancing, and I'll have two, point, two points each way on him. Okay, my six, second selection, and this is my nap of the day, I think this lad will be very, very hard to beat. I'm going to have a good cut at him myself. Uh, it's Christmas Jumper is the name of him. It's in the 345 at Clarny. He's 9 to 4. Rachel Black Blackmore takes the ride. He was very unlucky at Tremor last time out. Things didn't really go to plan. A horse fell in front of him, nearly, you know, and hampered him. And uh, just bits and pieces, you know. Uh, Tremor might not suit him that well either. I think a flat track like Killarney, where it'll go a bit of a clip early on, he get a nice get into a nice rhythm. Uh, I think he'll I think he'll win. It's over two and a half miles. Um, He's carrying 12 stone, that's the only thing, but uh, a lot of them in the weights, you know, the weights are fairly compact, so um, he's not giving away lumps of weight to any horses that have much ability, and I'd say he definitely has uh, more ability than any of them. So with Rachel in the plate, can only be a good thing, 345 Killarney, Christmas jumper, 6 point win at 94, I think it's a good price, I'm not saying he'll be smashed up or anything like that, but uh, like when you see the likes of Viking Horde, his third favourite. I don't think he's much good. Uh, and, you know, Christmas jumper, I think it's his, uh, he'll take all the beatings, his to lose. Okay, 430 Leperstown, uh, Aidan O'Brien horse here for Ryan Moore, uh, Gerald Beam. I know um, that Dixie Bluebell beat him the last time, and Gerald Beam is two points worse off the weights. So, you know, but on the book, he shouldn't really have a chance of turning it around. But I do think that, uh, Things didn't go right for him in Fairy in Fairy House. He was taken on for the lead. He got a bit unsettled. He lost ground turning in. Uh, he did actually rally a bit and seemed showed a bit uh, that he might get involved, but just got tired late on. And uh, I think tomorrow's race will go a lot smoother. There's, there's less runners for a start. Uh, he might be taken on for the lead. And even if he is, he can drop in second or third. I just have a feeling he's a little bit better than these. And uh, I think at 5-2, to two, it's very fair, and it's worth a three-point win. So that's Gerald Bean in the 4.30 at Leopardstown. Okay, uh, on to my second last selection. This is a horse that Mickey D flagged, flagged up uh, before he ran the last day at Limerick. A horse called Howling Wolf. Ran very well at Limerick, I thought. Um, you know, he's won over course, course and distance. The young lad, uh, McAteer, Mac is a, he's a good jockey, you know. This lad is a 5-1. to one. I think he... Uh, He's, he he is good value at five to one, and I'm going to make him a three point each way selection. It's a very moderate race. Howland Wolf has ability locked in there somewhere, and maybe over course and distance he might be able to show it. Uh, the drying ground shouldn't be a bother either. So um, Howland Wolf in the five o'clock at Leperstown, three points each way at five to one. Then finally, my last selection is in the six o'clock at Leperstown. It's the feature race. It's a very good race. Japan is favoured and rightly so. He's been a very good horse. For, I don't know why he gets so much. Uh, gets dogs of you, so he does, Japan. But um, you know, I, I wouldn't mind one like him. Uh, he's won a lot of prize money and he's been involved in some major races. But I'm gonna just take him on here. And I'm gonna have two points each way on Cinnawan, trained by Mick Halford. I know these uh, connections think the world of this horse. Things haven't really dropped right. Tomorrow he's drawn nine, so things will have to go well from within the first furlong, furlong and a half, because he can be very free. But if he settles, if, if he can get a nice pitch and settle early, uh, I think uh, he'll be coming home with a rattle. It's fast ground. He loved that. Just over a mile trip. He loved that. Turning course. 
so it's something grand he should be able to travel into the race nicely if he doesn't get too far back uh he'll give it a good go uh, and it's worth two points each way there at 11 to 2 generally so that's basically it we're getting stuck in tomorrow um you know the last couple of days you know it's been quite enough like there hasn't been much that was sticking out but i just thought tomorrow christmas jumper definitely howling wolf definitely um they're two that i think are very solid and uh you know there'd be a nice brucey bonus if uh Mackey on one to two thirty at Hamilton. So that sets up for the day. So anyway, whatever you're doing, best of luck and uh, keep following Cold Beer Sports. Uh, your place for winners. We put in like a lot of work just for ourselves, but for you as well. So I I hope uh, you're taking advantage of that, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks very much, Joe Value, Cold Beer Sports on YouTube.